And now, Three Minute Modernists, with your host, Chris Garcia. The first Connor exhibit at SF MoMA is really one of the best exhibits I've seen of a single artist's work that really spans a career instead of just being a snapshot. It's not quite the emotional moment that uh, Portraits in the Chinese style uh, was from Liechtenstein, but it's, it's a broad survey of his entire career. And it gives equal weight to both his film and his static artwork, particularly his assemblage, uh, boxes and so forth. One of the things I really appreciate about this was not only the, the breadth that they went into, they went into the punk period, they went into his early film work, they went into his uh, boxes and so forth, but it didn't spend too much time delving into backstory. And I know that to some that would be a knock. But what it did was it gave us a presentation of Bruce Connor's work. And I knew Bruce a very little bit. And here, what they presented is not only his best stuff, but stuff that showed... A, not only a progression, but where he knew when to take a step back. And if you look at his punk stuff, the stuff at the very end of the exhibit, it makes so much sense. Like he was returning to where he had been in the late 50s. Now they show a movie, it's the, one of the first things in the exhibit, and that's phenomenal. I really think that when you look at Bruce Connor, he's not as well known as, say, oh, I don't know, the perfect example, Joseph Cornell. But on the other hand, what he's doing is very similar. They're doing work in static. They're doing work in film. Bruce's career was much longer and more varied. And that's one of the reasons why I think he needs to be one of truly the great American artists. See this exhibit at SF MoMA? It's worth the 25 bucks admission alone, and with everything else they've got, it's a perfect day. <laughs> 